G'day guys, we're back today. Um, did the ISS the other day. Um, got a great video of the ISS. Uh, today we're going to have a go at the Hubble Space Telescope. Um, a lot smaller than the ISS. It's only about 50 feet long. It's about 18 metres. And with the solar panels included, it's probably about 30 feet wide. So it's going to be small, but um, we'll see how we go. It's probably at about 700 kilometres too. I think um, I'll put something up on the screen here. It might be 750 kilometres away. So the sun is reflecting off it, so it will make it easier. But um, it's going to be tough, especially since Transit Finder gave me two different arcs over the last two weeks of where it's going to pass through the moon. Um, probably going to go with a safe bet and just remove the 2x barlow. And um, it will bring us bigger back a bit and um, make it a bit smaller image but today we'll just see if we can get runs on the board and as always we'll go 2x when we know um, exactly where it's going to be at exactly the right time so today's not too bad a little bit of cloud around there's nothing up here near the moon and the scope set up ready to go it's been collimated and um, we're just waiting we've probably got about 15 minutes to go now so let's see what happens if you're unsure of what the Hubble Space Telescope is, here's a quick one minute refresher to remind you. This image is a pretty good indication of what we're up against today with the Hubble. It's around the size of a school bus. So essentially today, if we're successful, we'll be capturing a school bus at 750 kilometres, which is pretty mind boggling. The Hubble Deep Field is probably the one image that changed our view the most. With the telescope capturing data for 10 days in different wavelengths of light, of a piece of sky that was supposed to be barren but in the end we came away with an image that contains only six stars and about 3,000 galaxies which shocked the scientific world. Now we understand that this is pretty representative of the distribution of galaxies throughout the visible universe. And I personally love these two images of Saturn and Jupiter. I used them to successfully argue a case of upgrading from my 16 to 24 inch using the old price to performance ratio. Thank God Hubble cost $13 billion. One minute left, I'll start the capture now. It took me a while to find it in the two minutes of the raw data that I shot, but here we go. Ready, three, two, one, now. Let's try again using only the 15 frames that it was visible in. Have a look again with a bit more contrast. So while small, I think this was definitely a successful day. Next time we get a transit, I'll definitely be using the 2X Barlow and we'll be able to see some detail. I'll leave it with the eight panel mosaic of the moon in broad daylight captured over the next 20 minutes after the transit. Like and subscribe if you got this far and have a great day. Bye for now.